so many parties say I am like to worship for the sun some of them they say we like to worship for the moon 
Some of them they say the fire is giving us life. We like to make worship for the fire. Some of them they say we worship for the sea because sea is giving us food. Some people they say we do for the tree because the tree is fruitful. Some people say we say for the man he is very knowledgeable and he is our God. So this has been coming all this way. Why we are saying, why we are going so far like this? Normally, it is important for us to remember and to remind from when we are coming and when we are going. Because the worst memory is the fish memory, they say. Cannot remember so much. Today, people also, with all the respect for them, they have fish memory. Immediately they forget Allah Almighty, immediately they forget what Allah Almighty gave them, immediately they forget everything. Say, oh, we've been here. We've been doing this. Oh, nobody bring it. It is here. No, it is not easy, the things that we are coming until today. It is not as you think. It didn't come like for everybody in golden plate. No, it's coming for this time in golden plate. Everything in this time being served for the servant in golden plate. Don't forget this. Very important. Who have the luxury of we have today, even the poorest, he still have a few things to wear, he still have food to eat, still have accommodation, still have transportation. In olden days, everybody was on the feet. Today, in the worst country, you still have, you still have some transportation to pick you up from here to there. Even Firaun, with his majestic and his power and his, uh, he didn't have a tractor. <laughs> Imagine, he didn't have a tractor. For now, now, he was having mountains of gold, mountains. And he had millions to rule and he didn't have a tractor. They have to carry him with the slave. They have to give him air. Look here, you have the ventilator. Any house have a ventilator. Even he doesn't have a ventilator. That doctor, he doesn't have. And you say for all is a great Fazakir, <laughs> <laughs> say. Fazakir, that means remind them. Remind them. But this, it will not be for long. Yani, Allah Almighty, He is yumhil wala yuhmil. That means Allah Almighty, He gives time. Maybe He extends a little bit more. Maybe He extends a little bit further. But don't think that Allah Almighty, He forgot about what you are doing and how you behaving. Don't. Very important. Because... The people, they think, oh, Allah Almighty is not exist. Astaghfirullah, hasha. Allah Almighty is all the time exists. If Allah Almighty does not exist, you will not be exist. You will never be in exist. That's Allah Almighty. Everything may exist by Allah Almighty. Everything. Everything. There is not even single atom exists without Allah Almighty. This is a summit. Everything is belonging to him. Everything. This is, if you want to know some part of Allah Almighty magnificent things, you have to look for a summit. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Allahu summit. What mean? Say, first you say, Qul huwa Allahu ahad. This is when we are kids, the first surah we learn is Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Every kid learning Qul huwa Allah wahad. Because they say Allah is the only one. 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 If there is no others. And they say Qul huwa Allah wahad. Allahus saman. Then 
He add on it Samad. Samad means everything being exist by Samad. This is how to make it known what Allah Almighty. Not Allah Almighty, it is in your mind. I do like this. No, you do wrong. You do like this. You do, I don't know what. You do like, no. Allah Almighty. Nothing can be in His even take the atom and make the atom as 100% and make that 100% take the 1% of that make go 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 infinity even those cannot be making you to understand Allah Almighty existing but Allah Almighty he is so great that he makes the impossible to be possible by saying Kul huwa Allahu ahad Allahu samad that means make it possible for our minor mind we have a very minor mind by the way it is our mind it's not big it's not big but with our minor mind make us to understand Allah Almighty this is Allah Almighty miracle it is not that we understand he make us to understand it's very important for us to realize where we are staying and what we are doing and for what we have to concentrate. Alhamdulillah, we've been coming through Maulana Sheikh Abdullah Daghestani. I say for my name. I was seeing the Grand Sheikh Maulana Sheikh Abdullah Daghestani. I see him. And I was serving him. I was a small kid, but I was serving him. You say, how are you serving him? It's very simple things. For a, a kid, he is six or seven years old, to wait for the chicken to say, back. <laughs> <laughs> and inform that I give an egg, fresh egg, and on my ear it was like this, listening. Mm. Then, when the egg has arrived, I run to the cave of chicken and get the chicken away. <laughs> and get the fresh egg. And I run to Grand Sheikh. This is service. Shaykh Ahmad, this is service. Kid, Six, seven years old, if he think that the fresh egg it says for his sheikh, that those days we don't know. You don't estimate what you are servicing or who you are servicing. You cannot estimate. You are a small child. You take this one and with love running to him. To give, say, just this egg is very fresh for you, Ya Sayyidi. And you see the smile in his mouth and happiness for that small kids coming and giving the service for him beyond everything. This is service. Alhamdulillah, Allah Almighty, He honored me to be in service of Grand Sheikh. This is my age and this is my service. According to your age, you have your service. This is nothing to be done in that point. Then, Alhamdulillah, we've been in service of Maulana Sheikh Nazim Qaddas Allah Sallallahu Alaihi by being serving his guests. Maulana Sheikh, every day in Damascus, he come from the mosque and he have people with him. Never eat alone. Maulana Sheikh, never eat alone. Alhamdulillah, my mother, Hajana, one day she never complained that she have a guest in her house and she is not having a meal with her husband or with the family. Also, big service. Cooking is different service. I was carrying the food for people. 
I was kid. I was 10, 12, 13, 14. Keep bringing food, clearing the uh, table. Keep bringing food, clearing the table. Alhamdulillah, not one day complaining. To say, why I am the one bringing the food for men and why these people coming to my house? <laughs> you can say like this. It is your right. Yes, in dunya it is your right. You knock the door two o'clock after midnight, say, are this a Sheikh Nazim house? Yes, and we just arrived. Yes, open the door, put them in the room, give them bed, and let them sleep. We do this, Alhamdulillah, we've done this. This is service. So many people, they don't see this service. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. This is not important. Maulana Sheikh. He make big miracle. The big miracle of Maulana Sheikh was to train us. To train us for what? To train us for these days. Because Maulana Sheikh, he trained Sheikh Muhammad Qaddas Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to make him a Sheikh, a true Sheikh. I am part-time Sheikh. I am only assistant. I am nothing, but he make him a true sheikh. When he make him a true sheikh, the true sheikh, every sheikh is as have his own style of teaching. Those days was so many people complaining, saying, what's happening? The sheikh is make some statement, and this statement being making some people happy, making some people not happy. Making some people to say, no, we are with you, alhamdulillah, and this is very good. And some people, they say, no, why the sheikh say like this? No. You cannot object on sheikh. This is his teaching style. Either he like it to put it in one cup, and even he like it to be in separate cup. Maulana Sheikh Nazir Qadda Sallallahu he was more flexible and he was more easy to go. And he was having time to deal with everyone. He was so generous, so polite, so nice to everyone. Even the worst one, he was treating him as the best one. They say, even he is a, a child for somebody, he cannot stand him. Even the Olana Sheikh was standing these people also. <laughs> This is very important to understand. It is not a joke. But Sheikh Muhammad Qaddas Allah Suru, he is the one that he is having. Either you have a black or you have a white. He doesn't have gray. You like it or you don't like it. This is the shame. So try to be in white side. Try to be in white side because here very important things is for our benefit. I'm not saying for his benefit. He is already there. This is shame. He's already been giving everything. Nobody can take his his place because being given by Rasulullah Wasallam. It is not a joke. The tariqah, it is not a joke. You have to realize that tariqah, it is not a joke. It is not game. It is not playing. Maybe Maulana Sheikh Nazim, he let you to play, he say, I have kindergarten and I'm not making this tariqah to be act as a true tariqah. I remember one day he was saying, if I put tariqah on you, nobody can dare stay in front of me. Nobody dares. He said, not to come, you never dare to be standing in front of me if I want to make tariqah rule on you. This is reality. This is not a joke. This is the true teaching. By saying, no, I'm taking it as a kindergarten. I'll let you play. It's okay. You enjoy it. This is Mawlana Sheikh Nazim. Mawlana Sheikh Muhammad Qadda Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said, no, I want to make it tariqah. I want to make it tariqah. This is Mawlana Sheikh. 
He didn't say it's a kindergarten anymore. So that's why I'm saying to everybody to be a careful for our benefit, not for him. He is okay. This is something you have to understand. He is the authorized person and he been authorized by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If Maulana Sheikh Nazim Qaddas Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he appointed him. Don't think Maulana Sheikh Nazim the one he appointed him. No. 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 It's from really up. From really up. This is because Tariqa Naqshubandiya Aliyah it says have the name Aliyah Naqshubandiya Aliyah Aliyah mean the highest and should come from highest. That's why they call her Tariqa Naqshubandiya Aliyah. It's coming from up. That's why first I tell to myself, I don't tell for others, I tell for myself. This is for my ego because I have ego also. Don't say I'm free ego. No, there is no free ego. There is called a free sugar, but there is no soul, body, free ego. No. <laughs> no. You have to understand. And you have to know also what's going on. You have to know. When you know what's going on, then you act according about what is going on. Allah Almighty, He give you this brain to use it. He give you your heart to give you the emotion and to let you understand the real story. And this is important also for us, for our benefit, to prepare ourselves according to the shaykh. In olden days, the shaykh was preparing himself according to his mood. That was the manifestation in those days. But today, manifestation is changed. So many people, they say, in the time of Maulana, Shaykh Nazar, we've been better, we been, we been, we been crying, and then say, complaining, we've been like this. Hey, of course, you've been small kids. Now you have to, to grow up. You have to grow up. Not everything is allowed to do. Not everything it is free to do. Not everything is according to your mind. Not everything according. No. There is hukuk. What they call hukuk? Hukuk mean rights. Allah Almighty, when he have rights on his servant, and the servant must fulfill his right to Allah Almighty. Yes. You cannot ask something from people that is not belonging to you. This is belonging to Allah. In Tariqa, what is belonging to Allah? In Tariqa, what is belonging to Allah is the hearts. Maulana Sheikh was never ever interested by king or interested by rich man or interested by president or interested by powerful politic man or interested. No. He was main concept, the hearts. And Maulana Sheikh say, when you take this heart, it is the biggest amana because you are dealing with Allah Almighty directly. That's why Sheikh Muhammad Qaddas Allah Sallallahu Ali, he is really scared from Allah Almighty. Ya Rabbi say, I am taking this heart and I want to keep it as it is to give it to you. This is the reality. This is how now the sheikh is acting. I like to, to explain the situation because it was in the past one week I was away and there was big storm coming among all the murids. And this murid they are saying wondering what's going on, what the sheikh happening, why the sheikh is making such a statement, why? Now he is putting the border. The Sheikh is putting the border. And this is, you have to be careful because if the Sheikh put the border, you will not be in his place. And this is the dangerous part. When he build up the border, then you will be in the other side. So, you by your own. This is very important to know now he is giving the signal for you careful behave yourself come back to yourself 
come back to you, Allah Almighty, come back to your shaykh, and then fix your mind, and know who you are. Because here, very important message also, to know who you are. Who am I? I am nothing. This is the true one. If you say I am something, then you are in trouble. Not trouble with the shaykh. Shaykh doesn't care. He put his wall finished. You are with Allah Almighty. And this is, I don't wish it to my enemy. This very clear. I don't wish it to my enemy. Because it is to face Allah Almighty in such a condition, Yalatif, 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 Yalatif. It is Yalatif. That's why be happy and come back to yourself and know yourself. If Allah Almighty He give Shaykh Mehmet this responsibility, it is not easy responsibility by the way. It's the heaviest responsibility ever been given for servant. Yes, and we have to understand and appreciate Mawlana Shaykh that he gives such a person this responsibility to keep our heart and safe with him. He is not playing with our heart. He was not making any material benefit or spiritual benefit from our heart. No, he is only keeping our heart to be in safe until to be delivered for the other, the other, the other, until the other. ومن الله التوفيق بحرمة الحبيب بحرمة الفاتحة سبحان الله سلطان الله نبي محمد عليه السلام سبحان الله سلطان الله نبي محمد عليه السلام وصلي يا ربي وسلم على جميع الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى كل أجمعين والحمد لله رب العالمين الفاتحة